Enough of that. Let's start. Open the video game. Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Uh, Alright, chat. So a couple things to start with while I, I, you know, I get into the game because the first world's gonna take some time. <laughs> so, we're gonna let's get that out of the way, shall we? Let's get into it. So, uh, chat. Rock Maiden 2 has been worked on. So, Hawk and I has his Ko-Fi page up. How many attempts for the gap this time? Shut up. That's how many. Hawk and I has his Ko-Fi page set up. If you want to help contribute to the translation, you can post the link in chat. Because this stuff isn't free. And of course, I will be I will be attempting to cover the bills myself. But like if you want to help out, I'm certainly not going to say no. <laughs> Cuz it's a bit of I wouldn't say it's necessarily expensive, but like it will the expense will add up over time. <clears throat> I also have Canadian money, which is awful, and it makes everything- every time someone lowballs me, I'm like, oh, that looks good, so how does that convert to Canadian? And then it's always... Uh, <laughs> it's always the same. Like, uh, the currency difference between my, uh, Canadian and... The currency difference between Canadian and, like, the pound or whatever Scotland uses is stupid. I uh, Canadian's worth half as much. Oh, that was an accident. Oh well. It's fine. Warm up games. So yeah. Oh, oh I didn't kill that one. <laughs> so if you have anything, thank you, Tomato Sauce, for the sub. If you have anything you want to contribute, you can send it to uh, send it to Hawk and I's Ko-Fi page, and that will subtract from the total amount that I will be putting in myself because I'll still be paying for the projects chat because well I'm the one who commissioned him to do it so I'll be trying to cover the majority of the expense but anything you want to give to help would be greatly appreciated because I know I'm not alone in wanting these things translated <clears throat> but I also know that I can't just ask someone to translate things for free that's that's not how the world works So far, so good. So far, Rumi is doing it. Hmm, converted like six, yeah, 60, 65, 68 Canadian. I had an exact, uh, I had an exact amount, but I can't remember what it was. Will that work? Uh, almost. Almost. Hmm. Hold on, let me grab my let me grab my friend. Uh, I don't really even like Cherno that much. Like, I like I think Misty and Rigor are better, but I'll take her. All right, you don't you don't have to donate. It's just something you can do to help. Because <clears throat> again, I know people want these. Uh, I'm not alone. That's for sure from wanting these things translated. So any help I can get on that in the expense department would be greatly appreciated. I'm not I'm not rich I wish I was rich chat I really do because then I could fund everything that I want to fund no problem but I'll do what I can with my uh, with what I have that didn't hit it what you're kidding me oh well Sorry, right, it shit happens. I'm surprised it didn't hit it though, honestly. I haven't had an issue with that before. It was a nice shot, it just didn't work. Alright. Hmm. Any of the resub, Akko? Hmm. 
That almost worked. Oh, by the way, I know what potions do now. So, someone gave me the translation on potions. So, yellow is what enables auto-fire. The red one increases my power, the ga power gain, and how uh, fast I can recover from stun. And the blue one increases the chance of rare uh, drops. So, I was gonna grab the red one. Not the blue one. But I guess I have the blue one now. And I can stack the effect of up to three of them. So I guess if I have three red ones, then the effect is, you know, stronger for the red one. Or I could have one of each. Cherno's actually good for a situation like this. Almost. Almost. Nice. Excellent. See how much better you can play when you're not totally flabbergasted? <laughs> I still missed the gap, though. I don't know how I did that. That should be fun. <clears throat> yeah, so the yellow potion is what gives me auto-fire. So see, I'm holding the button. Hmm. But uh, nothing's happening. But if I grab the yellow one, I can just hold it. Potion's a rare drop. They seem to be a rare drop slash, uh, lock behind gaps. Chat, I didn't know I could make her spin in the- I- what? New technique unlocked. If I jump and press dodge, I can do this. <laughs> I don't know what it does. But when she hits the ground... When she hits the ground, she can't move for a bit, so it might be a bit dangerous. But I guess that's better than dashing towards things. Thank you, Demo, for gifting a sub. Thank you, Yo-Yo, for gifting a sub. <laughs> Hope you like the hype train stuff. <clears throat> but again, I'll, I'll probably be mentioning it a lot throughout the uh, course of the streams chat. Most specifically when I'll be playing translated games, but... Yeah. I'm not really good at shilling my own stuff. That's for sure. But when I can shill someone else's stuff, I'm kind of good at that. Because I no longer have to feel like, oh, I'm just talking myself up. Because now I'm talking someone else up instead. So I don't have to care about that. I don't even advertise my own uh, content or streams that well. Probably should, but I don't know how. I don't, I don't know how to do it in a way that I don't find myself find annoying. I, I don't like the way most of that stuff is done, so I don't do it myself. That was an accident. I meant to do this. Oh, nice. Could have been perfect. And you get bonus points if I grab the same one. Hmm. Shell on a stream page. Well, you're allowed to. You have the okay to shell your own shit on this page. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. The thing is, chat, even if, uh... I want, I want to spread the word of it, because even if there, even though there, there are probably some people that don't watch my streams that are, would totally be interested in the prospect of funding trans, uh... Funding translation projects. So the more the more people that are aware that this is a thing that can be done, the better. You never know. Hell, there's even a chance that if it gets noticed enough, then <clears throat> some devs will just straight up request him himself. And then he can work with the actual devs instead of having to translate the project afterhand, right? I don't want continues. I the one uh I have to one CC. Get up. Might work if he just hits that one. Get him. Get him. Oh, close. Very close. Oh well. You know what they say. So far, so good, though. Thank you, Otto. <laughs> Guys, why are you, why are you gifting me subs? 
I appreciate it, but why? Thank you, Yo-Yo, for a good thing to sub. So far, so good, except for that missed gap. It happens. <clears throat> Total Sorter... I, I like that I did it, but... I, I, I do think it was a, just a little bit rushed to, to match the game award. That's a Nico doll. Nice. 13.5. But at the same time, the lower, the lower matchups aren't that interesting, in my opinion. It's more so who's at the top. I am so scared something's gonna fall on my head. <laughs> I don't know what's happening! Oh, I won. Nice. Thank you, Duong, for 1,000 bits. Oh, I'm gonna send you this because that's kind of cute. I kind of like that. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. I, I, I get that even was kind of cute. Alright. This level stresses me out, but it's okay. Everything is done. Rumia succeeds. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, I tried to turn around, but sometimes, I don't know if it's like snapback or something, but sometimes I have some serious issues in this game trying to just turn myself around to uh, hit things. So I'll just start shooting and then I'll be facing the wrong way. And I don't know if that's because I'm... It's probably my own fault, but I don't really know why I keep doing that in this game. And then I shoot the wrong way and then that happens. I didn't lose a life, but I lost a bomb, but I can get it back. I did a lot of... That's the only bomb I used in World 1, so I should be fine. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. Sorry to say. I don't think the black ones kill me, but the, the red ones do. Never mind. I guess they, they don't kill me unless they fall on me or they can roll past me. I'm not really sure. Now oh, there goes another bomb, but I kind of made back it immediately, so it doesn't matter that much. Thank you, Akuma, for a thousand bits, too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Alright, here we go. World 2! Okay. This game frame works. But there might be something people want out of it. It is a bit of a silly feature though, I agree. I think it's a silly feature. But... Well, if people want the emotes, who am I to deny them, right? Alright, now we get to listen to more than the World 1 music. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting, waiting for so long. That's so unfortunate. That could have went great. Thank you, Yo-Yo, for another gifted sub. <clears throat> I won't stop you, but I won't encourage it either. So, I still haven't found the gap in World 3, but I'm pretty sure there is one. There has to be one. Bunny. Damn it. Try searching stage seven. I, I tried that in the way of I looked at the footage uh, from the last spot and I didn't see it. I thought it would be stage seven as well, but I did not see anything there. 
But the layout of that stage is really weird, so it makes me think maybe there's a secret I'm missing. That's unfortunate. I'm not gonna be able to get a full clear because of that guy. If I managed to stop him, but they're a little scary when they bum rush ya. Man, sometimes, sometimes a super jump, I, just, I tell you what. Good. I have to find all the gaps, try to fail them. Look, I know how to get into the one in the, the last wor the, well, world six and now at least. So I can do that. That's gonna be hard to do, but I can do it. I don't know how to get into the one in World 5 yet, because I didn't practice that. I really should have. Hype train success. Congratulations, chat. You did it. Shit. Oh. One of them's gonna stay alive. Hold on, hold on. I'm going, I'm going. I'm gonna hold that, but I'm not gonna hold it well. That sucked. How did I get hit by that? How do I only have two lives right now? Have I not, like, gotten anything? That's crazy. I swore I would have more lives by now. I tried to throw the, the ball directly downwards, and what ended up happening was... Well... Someone's gotta hit this, right? No, really? Hey, look, it's Wagasaki Hime. Nice. Unfortunate. I didn't think to bomb. I tried to jump on it and do this, but as you can see, Rumia throws directly downwards, and I managed to... Somehow I managed to not hit the rabbit and also fall on top of it at the same time when my, when my bubbles do this. That is great. <laughs> She isn't blonde, but she has a pond smelt. By the way, chat, I don't know if you saw, but, uh... The, the group behind M1 put out a tweet not too long ago that the 15th M1 project is finished, and they're gonna be putting it up soon. And they showed off the the MCs, and it's Radosuke, of course. And Mioi is the other... the other announcer. I haven't actually watched any of those since 10. That should work. Well, maybe not work, but good enough. Alright, wow, it did work. Nice. Uh, yeah, uh, Mioi and... Oh, I hit the gap, too, even though I forgot it was on this level. That's good, because I forgot it was there. Uh, hold on. Let's not grab the key by accident. Before I talk, where am I? Okay, let's just go for super rare. And I can pick my own friend. Go to Cherno. So we have, um... TV. Nine ball. Worth nine points, of course. Pickaxe. And a skull tan. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched M1 since the 10th entry. And... Hold on. I remember... I think it was the 13th. It was the 13th or 14th, but they showed off, uh, one of the pairs. And it was Okina and the fortune teller. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? What is this? So, I'm curious as to how that goes down. Hmm. <clears throat> Got a folder that seems to have them all. I think I have the same one. I think I have the same one. I think I have an even more updated one, too. I just haven't watched them in a while, as well. The, the last time I watched, uh... The M1 series, I think, was when, uh... Nice. Was when I got, uh... I got that bogus copyright strike. That's a Super Marissa doll. So I got that, and then I was like, I'm just gonna order pizza and watch this instead. And I did, and it was great. This is a necklace. I almost didn't see it. That should work. I hope. Ah, uh, well, not the best. Oh, goodness. 
What's important is that I won. <clears throat> oh, sorry, so I'll mention it again because you just showed up. But, uh, how can I just call five pages up? He'll probably make a tweet about it as well. So, if you wanna... If you wanna help with, uh, translation expenses, then you can donate there. And if you wouldn't mind sharing it. So people know, because I doubt... I'd assume that more people want to, uh, fund those things than just us. Even if they don't watch the stream. It would definitely be a... Very nice on my wallet. That's for sure. <clears throat> Chino can go through the shields too. Cool. Appreciate the help. Oh, almost fell on the fairy. Fairy, fairy. It's not a fairy. It's a fucking. What is it? A doll. Ooh, close. What's that? A P A P A can't read it, so I don't know for sure. Does M1 of the creators especially YouTube with subs? Full episodes are paid, it just gets it free to watch. There's that as well, yeah. I noticed that. They started doing, uh, they started uploading the skits. I want to watch the full episodes, though. I would pay for them if they're subbed. I would. The only reason I didn't before is because I didn't know you could. The level of quality on them is quite high, so... <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind buying a completely, like, sub DVD everything they've made so far. The quality's good, it's just some of the jokes fall, uh, fall a bit flat for me because I don't understand the language. So a lot of the skits that are involved in the... Oh! Okay. A lot of the skits that are involved in, like, Japanese wordplay, I just kind of, like, I don't really know what's going on, so... It's not really... I don't really get them. Alright, I'm gonna go for a triple rare setup. Three blue potions. Ready? Alright. Max rarity. Triple luck. Now let's see if that helps me collect some stuff. Realistically, I should probably grab three reds to lower my stun time, because that'll make it easier to recover from boss shit. How do you have complete episodes of paid subs? I would like to know that. I really would. Because again, I would definitely pay for it if I could watch it with uh, proper subs. I got scared. Alright. So I thought I- I thought I fell on something there. Well, I had the backup bomb anyway. I still have three, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, I- I thought I fell on something and I got a little bit afraid. What songs is this arrangement of? I'm not sure, actually. I forget what it's called in the game. Oops. Romantic Children, Mr. Square State Street. Thank you. All right, Alice time. Okay. Alice's first spell card actually gives me some serious trouble. I didn't know there was one behind me. Shit. I'm dead. No, that one won't hit me. Okay. Oh, Rubia! Do 
Juno should be able to go through right with the shields. Jerno's damage output is better if I can hit things, but it's hard to hit things. <laughs> Alright, now keep your eyes open. We haven't found the gap here yet. <laughs> After all that, you just forget all the stress that you felt during the boss fight. Just because of this. The green beans, the peas. So stage 3-7 would be the one I would assume. Oh, this isn't good. They're gonna... Oh, God. Nice. The triple rarity stuff is kind of fun to play with. But, yeah, maybe I should have... Maybe I should grab something else. 3 7 should be it because it's consistent. Yeah, but I didn't see it, is all, so we're gonna need to like really look. Well, uh, not the greatest, but I'll take it. That is a big... Did anyone figure out how I did that, like, super jump before? Remember that? Well, I mean, I could get a pretty high jump off a platform. Big. She goes sometimes. I got a Chivo. Five. Five what? Five what? Shit. I goofed. really wanted that bonus. I didn't die. Lost a bomb for it, though. I'll get it back in a second, but, uh... Oh, maybe it's my score multiplier. Yeah, because I have a multiplier of five right now. Maybe it's because I haven't died in a while and I haven't lost it. Fuck. Please hit him. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to do anything with him. Three, five. Is that a stick of butter or gold? <clears throat> so the gap should be in the next level. That doll's not even doing anything. Do I have to? 
kind of mean-spirited as long as this. Alright, so it should be in this stage, right? But I just don't see anything. It doesn't help if I kill all the enemies, but like I don't understand where it could be. I'd be able to see it on screen. This fucker's in the way now. That's what he is. They've never been invisible. Yeah, they, sh they shouldn't be. I should be able to see them. Like, I can't, uh... can't go up any further than this. Weird. I don't know. I really don't know. Because you think it would be on level 7. This part right here is like, why is it like this? I have a lot of questions, so I just don't know the answers. I don't think my score multiplier goes any higher than five, but that's good because the more score I get, the more my bombs go up, right? And one of the more rare items I get, the more uh, the more valuable they are, hence more score. So getting uh, getting rare items actually increases my bomb count. Other than nothing, scrolling cameras minus except for the final one. Yeah. Let's hope that works. <gasps> no! <laughs> How did he even reach me? Hmm. I'm still looking in case maybe it's in a different level, but honestly, I don't know. take it. Hmm. Chat, what's that little yellow dot on my, my bar down there? You see that? It's next to my score multiplier. There was an invisible platform before, yeah, but that wasn't a... I would still be able to see the gap, right? I wasn't looking. I didn't even see those dolls. They're so fucking small. Well, my score multiplier didn't take much of a hit. I can get it back right away, but I did just lose a life. Ah, Mortis! Oh well. No, no, this level. I will wait. I will wait. Rumia is moving. Oh, that was nice then. Okay. 
313. really want to play this game with these things. That'll do. Wow, what did I just collect? What was that? It was it was worth a lot of points. It was like a, like a diamond. Hmm. Does world gap have, the world part have two gaps? No way it would have two gaps, right? I found one of them. Tell me there was a secret. This boss is interesting. Shit. Thank you, Tripper, for the Twitch Prime. Also, thank you for making this game. Now, could you answer us one question? Where's the gap in this world? <laughs> oh shit. didn't kill me. I looked away. I didn't realize there was still a ghost. I wasted a bomb for that. Oh, well. The 3-7 gap is actually invisible. No way. <laughs> oh, no way. So we were right about it being a level 7. Uh, level 7, but I can't believe it was actually invisible. I'll have to find it. I'm assuming it's where the rabbit is. So I have to get up there before the rabbit falls down. That, that's my best guess. Oh! I just grabbed a monster. Just hit it. Thank you. hi yeah, yeah. Run, ruin, time to restart. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to soon. Don't worry. Alright. Yeah, you didn't see it. I grabbed a monster energy drink. This is what it means to game. Alright, time to do this again. Let's see how well I handle Aya this time. I don't even have full power because I died there. The worst time. Uh, well, they're not kill shots, but they will be eventually. That's a kill shot. Nice, good job, Shino. As long as the big ones don't hit me, I'm okay. Maybe I'll just wait. 
good enough. <sighs> good enough. Those don't kill me, so I'm more than okay just waiting. I'm alright. I'm not dead. Oh shit! <laughs> I, got, I got clipped by that. Alright. isn't so bad. I just need to stay centered. Because I need to be able to move instantly. Because that just happens without warning. And if I go if I go above it, she's gonna spawn on me. So I need to wait for her to clip up there and then I need to fall. Like that! And now I have to go. But I'm not going anywhere. I know what I need to do. It's just a matter of getting it down. I was trying to find a timer, maybe I could time, tell exactly what time she does it. But it's scary because it's so instant. Uh, Rumi is gone. Yeah, I was looking at the bar and then I was like, it'd be better if I had a time. And then as soon as I looked back down, the noise happened. And I was like, oh, I have to go. But I got hit. So I was trying to time my my stun to like pop out right near the end so I could at least try to cheese my way through it. Because that attack can't kill me unless Aya hits me, so it doesn't really matter that much if I take, like, if, if Romeo takes a bit of a nap to, uh, stun time. Chat, we're gonna have to find that stage 3 gap. <clears throat> Does it at least become visible if I open it? I'm assuming I know where it is. I think it's where the rabbit is. That's my best guess, because there's no way to get the rabbit back up there, so why else would you put it up there? And then this one, I... The thing about the gaps is they're visible, but if you're not, like, actively paying attention to it, it's kind of easy to miss them. Whoa! That was close. Like, some... I accidentally opened the one in World 2. I forgot it was there. Completely forgot it was there. And then it was open. And in World 1, I like to... Do that. Yep, that's exactly what <laughs> I like to do. Ah, uh, I hate when I do that. What? Hit by a bat. Oh boy, I sure do love that. That's scary, because as soon as you approach them, they all want to run at you. I can't take four of them out at once. Maybe there's a better way to handle this stage. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I need to find a better way to handle that one. It's fine, it happens. Yeah, I'm dead. Sometimes you just gotta know when to, when, when to call it quits. So now I have no backup bombs. No backup bombs. One backup bomb. One life. At least my potions are still here.
outside room here. Just take a break for a second. We'll figure it out in a moment. I'll get back to you. So the stage 5 boss is based on my partner. But until I beat the game at least once, it'll always be Cherno. Alright. So that means... That means having Cherno will make me have to fight Cherno again. Well. It's alright. I wasn't gonna... I don't think this one's gonna succeed. But I need to at least get further into... Know how to fight things. Damn it. Ah, I hate the bats. Taking a death on the stage hurts a lot once you realize how much of a how many times you're going to explode to a boss. God, <laughs> it sucks. Oh, this is this is gonna be great. Saved it. Is that Alan? Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, okay. Bosses are scary, yeah. They are scary. They're very fucking scary. <laughs> Because they shoot a million attacks, and then only one of them actually kills you, but I'm still afraid to get hit by any of them. Oh, close. Well, I have to vandalize. Now you see all these rabbits, chat? Here they come. Yeah. Yeah, here they come. stuff. I was worried they were gonna fall on my head more than anything. Mm, that was part of the plan. Alright. Oh, I forgot the gap. I didn't see it. Uh, yes. You know what they say. Sometimes... Sometimes, we all goof up. Leave me alone, chat. I wasn't paying attention to it. I was focused on other things. I'm telling you, man, they're hard to see. If I'm not thinking about it, then I'm not seeing them. Second gap here, apparently? No, no, there shouldn't be. Going off the collectibles, there's seven, there's six ribbons you can collect. And World, World Six didn't have one, but World Seven does. That's the last one you collect. Okay, I was wondering what that fairy would do when it comes back. Cause uh, you get the, you get the grayish ribbon at the end of the game. But every other gap has a, uh, every other gap has one in there, except for World Sixes, which I found when I practiced it. It has a full power item, which is great. But you need a full power. I'm not really sure if the ribbons are any use for anything other than bonus points, but there's one for each gap, so I figured if I collected all of them in a run, that would be a good thing to do. It's just, 
You know, you only get one chance. I'm dead. Fuck that bat. Oh no. I hope that worked. The key's not out of its bubble yet. Someone's still alive. It would be the guy in front of me. I'll get him eventually. Yeah. I love when score items fall on the side here. There we go. Alright. This is another one of those stages that gives me a uh, little bit of fear. Because there's so much potential for something to just hit me. But at the same time, sometimes things just go so well. And that bat... That bat's amazing. That's the best bat I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, chat, look at this. Do you see this item right here next to me? This blue ball? It's worth 8,000, right? You see this thing next to it right here? What is this? Look how much that's worth. That's insane. I want the Miko. There's so many rare items that spawned. There's meat on bone. That's great, yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of items spawn. My bar is full for bombs. I just wish I had some one-ups. <clears throat> Ice cream. It's huge. The blue ball kind of reminds me of the the Zora scale from Ocarina of Time, because it's a scale and a blue ball. You know, there's an upgraded version of that item, and it's like green, and you get from the fishing hole. I never knew that. I don't even know what it does. Alright, stage 4 is obviously full of Castlevania reference since the one stage you can actually break the wall to get meat. You're gonna tell me which stage that is. Because I, I found, uh, we figured out how to get onto your invisible platform. But I haven't seen anything on this, this break and breakable wall yet. Something's not dead. Oh. Everything at the bottom of the screen. I gotta find the wall meat. Alright. What is going on here? That'll work. No, it won't. <laughs> That's fine. I wish there was a secret under the staircase here. That'd be sick. Oh, look, the bat fell on it. Oh, where did you come from? All right, no pressure or anything. No, no pressure. Four ten. Okay, I'll remember that for the next time because I'm. Ob I have to do another one. I have one life. <laughs> Let's get this first. One heart, one bomb. Floating Rumia. Okay. Alright. Ah, uh, Remy. Remy's first spell card scares me a bit because I'm not fully, uh, I don't fully understand how it works. God, I love this theme, though. It's alright. Good. Start. Miserable fate. 
Uh, it's, it scares me because I don't fully get it. Like, I don't... I don't know which part of it hurts me. Just, I guess it's just the exploding part at the end. But which one kills me? The red ones would kill me. That would explain it. So I don't actually have to worry about it until the end of the move. Well... <laughs> well... 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 I should probably learn how to direct those. I'm dead. Forgot what came next. Good night, Rumia. So this is the one you get in the gap, first gap, right? Second gap. So this is the third one. This is the third one. We haven't got that yet. Fourth one. Fifth one we haven't opened yet. World 6 gap gave me the full one, and then this is from World 7. So. Chat, does anyone remember me collecting a... this? Is this... <laughs> when did I collect this? <laughs> it did dotted apple. I'm assuming the star is the rarity. Skull tan. Where is... This Marissa doll must be really rare. Yeah, it is. Okay. And this thing. This thing is not as rare, but it's... It's worth a lot of points. I'm missing this one. Have the Yamame doll. The Miko doll is rare as well. Maribel doll is quite rare as well. Blonde doll, very rare. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice point reference. I love the, uh, I love the point references. They're in them. I have to. Some of them I might need explanation on though. Fifty-six, fifty-six. I'm going out on a limb and assuming this is the noise that frog make. I, I don't know for sure though. Seventy-eight hundred. 6,000. Some of them are so specific with their point values that you can tell their references. Don't mind me, I'm just unwinding a bit while I, I get back into the, get ready to get back into it. I don't know who that is. 6 is row. <laughs> so it's almost ghetto. Fifty six would be Goroku. Oh. See, monster. Told ya. Don't wanna get sued, but it's here. Uh Red Bull's in here too somewhere. There it is. I mean <clears throat> that's not Red Bull. That's a big Rumia doll, the one you didn't know. Wait, that's EX Rumia? Man, now I just feel sad. I can't see Big Rumia without feeling sad. Let's try again. Ready, set, go. I like Big Rumia, but she's a tragic character. Teleport. Whoosh. Alright, time to spend the next hour and a half in 1 1. You ready? You ready, chat? <laughs> Let's do it. That's a bad start. There we go. Okay. 
I want to collect blue potions again because I like collecting stuff. But I really should be collecting the other ones. Poop and tech. Not good movement tech, but it is my movement tech. That should work. Yep, that'll work. Nice. Getting a feel for these earlier stages. Of course, my own hubris is going to cause me, and if I lose a life in World 1, well, <laughs> then the game's over. Perfection. Playing Babble Babble. Couple things aren't really obvious. Alright, fill me in. Perfect. You can watch Asana Reimu with uh, an amateur dub or just watch sub. I actually like the, the dub I watched of it. Well, <clears throat> the dub and sub. Wait, a blue present? <gasps> Suika? A crowbar? No friend. I didn't get a friend, but I got a crowbar and Suika. Taking blue potion is not really recommended if you're going for one CC. It actively decreases spawn rates of parts. That would explain why my life count was so goddamn low. <laughs> I'd never seen a blue present before, though. But it gave me a, uh, it gave me Suica. So, best potion, best box. Uh, I'll take Mistia. So I'm gonna grab red potions this time. Blue potions seem fun for collecting rare items, but right now I kind of need to just beat the game instead of trying to find all the the the, the rarities. I'll worry about I'll worry about that when I can read it. Bonus chain broken. Tried my best. There's my multiplier up. My multiplier just drains when I reach a boss. Okay. Remember the gap. I know why the gap is here. I just didn't hit it last time and I don't know why. There we go. Oh! Okay, alright. Let's try that again. Take two. I, okay, I know the perfect angle to hit the gap now. We're okay. I got it. But I lost my Suica. Uh, it'll, it'll still be in the collections menu. But Rumia no longer has her crowbar. Or her Suica. Suica doll should multiply the alcoholic points. The alcohol beverage points. If I grab a whiskey, times two that shit. <laughs> Please work. Okay, good. Feels bad when I don't one clear that. I've done it so many times now, I would hope I'd have it down. There's the flan doll again. Nice. Alright. If you only care about unlocking extra, you can do so on easy as long as you want CC. No achievement for one scene, scene easy though. I didn't know that. But if there's no achievement. If there's no achievement, then. I, I gotta do it anyway. I'll get the extra. 
I'll beat it on normal. Chat's gonna hit me with the easy mode copy pasta, as if this game isn't really hard. <laughs> Do it yourself then, chat. Go ahead. One CC it yourself. Oh, this is so terrible. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, that was bad. Better alive than dead, I suppose. <clears throat> final boss on normal is really hard. The final boss on easy was hard. There we go. Keep those two stunned just in case. Please! That's not great. It doesn't matter that much, but it still sucks when you do it so many times correctly, and then every now and again you mess it up. I'll get it eventually. If there's one thing I am, it's stubborn. And stupid. Look, I don't know how I did that, <laughs> okay? Legitimately don't know how I did that. All I can say is that the analog stick on a controller is very sensitive, all right? It's very sensitive. And if I, my direction is anywhere in the indicated area for that technique, that technique is what's gonna happen. No two ways about that. <laughs> That's just what happens, Chad. I can't avoid it. Sometimes I can't turn around, sometimes I can't stand up. That was an accident. God damn it. Oh, wait. Somehow that still counted as a one hit clear bonus. Alright, sure. I'm not gonna argue it. I think that was you, Miko. Dev, can I ask a question while you're here? Why are all the collectible dolls blonde? I don't particularly mind it, I'm just curious as to why that is. <laughs> I didn't notice it for a while until somebody pointed it out. I was like, yeah, you're right, everything I collect has blonde hair. This goes to show how many characters in the series have blonde hair. These are tutorial levels, they don't count. But if I die, then they count. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Curry. Strawberry. Orange juice. Pizza. Sandwich. Mushroom. God damn it, I fell. Worked out. Worked out. A 100 cent coin. 100 yen was worth 100 points. Who'd have thought? Don't shoot. Chad, do you think Rumi and Kirby would get along? Take a miss to you. Or do you think they would have fights over who's eating more? I don't know if they'd be able to share a meal. Friend Nagatsuki drew an 80 90% of the item sprites and he loves blonde girls. That's the reason. You know what? That's all the reason I needed. <laughs> he got Suika in there and she's not technically blonde, so, but close enough. Alright, come here. Alright. Hoorah! Got it. Something's still alive, and I almost ran into it. 
Alright, the gap's open. Don't worry, I'm not gonna mess this up. Just gonna collect everything around it. I don't think the key is worth points. Oh, okay, I'm taking the red one. Gem, hearts. Sorry to do this to you, friend. Penguin! Pagoda! Uh. Nice. <clears throat> Will this work? Will it work? The answer is... No. The answer was no. But you can't blame a guy for trying. So a couple things we need to keep in mind for this chat. Uh, one, the gap exists in World 3, but it's invisible. We need to find it. Two, we can break a wall in Ford 10 to find some meat. Three, if I forget where I am again and I miss out on another gap, well... That, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That, that's just gonna happen. That was very close. Hold on, let's get the, uh... We're gonna stack up on reds. Ooh. I wanna stack up on reds. There's a heart up there as well. Hmm. Alright. Is that... Is that Kudumi? Or Ellie? I can't... Tell. I can't get on this platform. Ooh, close. <clears throat> Full auto yellow. Oh, wait, you're right, yeah. If I stack up on yellow potions, then my... I probably shoot faster holding than mashing. Oh, that sounds like fun. We'll try that next. But I want to see how well the red potion stack works. That worked out better than I expected. Oh. Alright. <sighs> Ellie? Not Ellie. Not Ellie. Ellie. With, uh, I don't pronounce the S because I don't know if you're supposed to or not, so I call her Ellie. But I know there's also, there's also another Ellie, which is really fucking confusing. <laughs> but that's more so just, uh, that's, that's a quirk. I don't know if it's pronounced Elise, but I, I tend to not pronounce the S. And then I call her Ellie, and then people are like, Dylan, Ellie is, Ellie is Bad Apple. Like, no, other Ellie. This work. That really worked. A wedding cake. Nice. I collect power, but I don't know what it accomplishes when I'm at full. Sometimes you get a level where you just need to mash like a motherfucker and hope that you hit everything you need to hit. Kinda, yeah, kind of like that. There you go. You just gotta, you gotta pray. Pray it works. And then it does. Because there's so much stuff that can possibly go wrong if you try to be careful about it. So I just press the button and everything works out. Oh, careful. Oh, okay. When you hit power at 5, you get a temporary boost. Yeah, but it drains over time. There's Big Rumi again. Watch him fly! Mystia's bubbles are good for that, at least. There we go. Another one man for Rumia. Two run. I got a one up from score, I think. Or I just collected straight up a one. 
Wait. Chat, what happened there? I got two one-ups. One of them was from the hearts, but the other one wasn't. Did the Rumia doll give me a one-up? Or did I get a score value? Oh, here we go. Nope. 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 Push something and hope it works. Please work. Did it work? It worked. Cheery. Alright. One more and then Reimu. Actually, Mistia's shots let me kind of take care of this whole rabble while I try to navigate around it. Damn. That was fantastic. Good job, Mistia. Let's just collect the stuff we got here. Both the Romeo dolls are one-ups. Nice. All right. Wait, there's two? I've only seen one. Oh, not touch that. Hmm. <clears throat> To be fair, I, I only just learned that it was Rumia, like, about 10 minutes ago or so. Cherno hits hard for bosses, but, like, Mistia hits everything around her. Riggle's good, too. She has, like, some kind of weird homing type of shot. But the thing is, Cherno requires you to be pretty close as well. Cherno requires you to be pretty close to nail a good hit. That's like it kills you. Getting too close to Reimu during that makes her flash kick you and it's not pretty. I got flash kicked into a... Uh... <laughs> I got flash kicked into a yin yang or before. <clears throat> yeah, Zen almost brought- Rumi was almost in 12.3. I love bringing up that what-if a lot. I think he should bring her back in some capacity. She's clearly popular. But I say that about a lot of characters, so... Who knows for sure? Rumi, I can just show up one more time. Rumia juice. That's a cursed sentence. <laughs> Rumi is not petrol, huh? What do you mean? She feels a lot of things. She feels one's happiness. Of course, that's when that's when they're not drawing her to be really scary looking. Uh, I don't really like that Rumia. That Rumia scares me. Seventeen point five. That's not a real game. <gasps> uh, I made myself sad with that one. Rumiya's intelligence is unmeasured, for the most part. I think she had an article with Aya, though. But, she, people like to pair up with the fairies to hang out with them. You know she's not a fairy herself. Passive and schedules are deadly enemies. <laughs> well, at least their games are good. Right? Nice. That said, they did make Super Marissa land. I got, I got a fucking half of half a bag to tell about talk about that one. <laughs> and I can too, cause I beat that thing. I beat that whole game, extras and all. I'm allowed. <laughs> I've earned the right.
Tarzan, Rumia. Get, get up there, Rumia. There you go. <clears throat> I didn't play anything on 17.5 yet. Waiting for it to finish so I can play it one go. I'm definitely gonna play it, like, probably in the- Most likely I'm gonna play it the day it's released. Because I am looking forward to it. I want to play as Kaneko, because I think that would be cool. I'll give Kaneko a chance. And Yamame with spider legs is very cool. Or scary. I guess it depends on what your opinion of spiders are. Nailed it. Blue box. We have Miko. Yo, Apple? <laughs> okay. Including me. Gap on next level. I got it, I got it, I got it. Got it. That one seems to work itself for the most part. Better than trying to set up a shot for it. That jelly beans. Oh shit! Just climb the wall. And there's triple reds, baby. Green bow. You got a friend in me. I have my friend's gone. Shit! That was an accident. Uh, that's a chainsaw. That's okay. The Yume to Tuki special. Nice noise. <laughs> Chainsaw. <laughs> and a piggy bank. Excellent. I need I want Misty a bag. It was just an accident. But these kind of things happen. It's alright. Dude, this shit is melting heart. Look at this. There's hearts everywhere. Well, there's two hearts. You get what I mean. What is that? I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. What do they call that? It's not Yakitori, is it? No, I don't think so. It looks like... Chikua. I think? What do you call it? I don't remember what it's called. And then like an egg. Food stick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big food stick. The sound from Mappy. I am not familiar with that game. It made me think of Balloon Fight. Oh, I can get my friend back. Yes. That's big. Give me my friend back. Land. Must be classic. The only real classic uh, platforming arcade games I really play is Bubble Bobble. Which is what this game immediately reminded me of when I first saw it. That's also how it was explained to me. Bubble Bobble esque. I thought a multiplayer feature would be cool, but I feel like that would be impossible to implement with the way the bosses work. Which is fine. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> bosses are quite the enjoyable experience but the the stage portions and multiplayer could be fun as well it's just there's not really enough of them that I I don't think it's worth the hassle or headache to try and make multiplayer work for the bosses excellent I do want to play bubble bobble again though I'm thinking of, I'm gonna do that try and do that sometime in the future, because I fucking love that game. I knew eventually I would win. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, that's right. Oh, right. I keep holding up to jump. 
and then I end up not jumping because I do the charge for the super jump. <clears throat> Second player is your little buddy. It wouldn't be as, uh, it wouldn't be as, in I, I wouldn't say engaging. It kind of reminds me of Mario Galaxy in that sense. Mario Galaxy is like, uh, Mario Galaxy's two players, but not really two player at all. Like, you control a Luma who, like, is basically a second Wiimote, I guess. Well, no, the Luma, the Luma has a little more interactivity in Mario Galaxy 2, but in Mario Galaxy 1, it was just two player two can use the Wiimote with you. Kind of, kind of a shoddy, uh, shoddy multiplayer. Pikmin was a game that I always thought should have multiplayer on a uh, campaign, and it doesn't. Well, it does now. Pikmin 3 Deluxe did that, and there are there are now there are mods <clears> through <throat> Play DLC for Pikmin 2 that actually has multiplayer campaign as well, which seems like a lot of fun. Pikmin 251 had that as well, and that game was phenomenal. I I played it solo though because I was the first time playing through it. All right, keep going. There's a there's a there's a Mario Bucket esque game. It's called uh, Mario Alley. And it's Marissa and Alice like Mario and Wario the Bucket game that never actually released in uh, here. The thing about that one is nice. The thing about that one is there's two versions of it, right? There's the original version and there's the Redux version. The original version was translated. The Redux version was not. However, the Redux version is available on uh, PlayStation for in Japan. So, like, that's the definitive edition, but you can't play that one in English. So, it kind of sucks for me, doesn't it? Because I'd rather play the updated version of it. That rabbit's gonna fall on me. Where did you come from, little one? Oh, good. Giant coin. Show. It seems like the more uh, the more friend duplicates I collect, the higher the point value they're worth. Fancy Explorer Notorious is the same dev as Nightmarish. What's that? I think it's cool that some of these games can be on uh, official platforms. It's just a shame that none of them come out in English. It will be soon, though. Lunar Nights is coming out soon. It's already available in the Japanese eShop. But it will be out, uh... Probably in four days now. <laughs> Alright, Alice time. Very, very slow Metroid-esque. Nichiwaipedia. There's a few of them I was looking at. For, uh... In terms of translation. There's a series, uh, I forget what it's called. Bomakyo, I think it was? There's three of them. There's two for SDM and there's one for Yomu. They look pretty good. I was thinking, looking into those, but... Well, translation projects aren't exactly what I'm focused on right now. I'm currently writing the bigger video. The one that's gonna end up longer than Tolovania, which worries me slightly. That does worry me a bit. I'm almost done writing the script, it's just I've gotten lazy the last couple days. I've just been so tired. Well, that was that was a very unfortunate situation to find myself in. I still haven't captured this spell card. God damn. Kamikaze dolls. It's a bit of misdirection as all. Well. Nice. That one's not as bad as... That one's not nearly as bad as the first one. It's crazy. And this one is... Weird. To say the least. Cherno's really good at taking out the defense, but not so great at hitting her. Oh, 
Missy a shot can get in there. I can kind of just ride up the wall like monkey style. <laughs> that really worked. Uh, Call Kill 1 and Yo-Yo number 2 are fully translated. 2 is partial. Well, that's good. If the first one's already done, that's great. If the second one is partially done, then there's not that much to do. But yeah, I haven't looked into those, but if they're... If... I want to I want to check them out myself, but like at the same time, I want to play them while they're translated, but I also don't want to trans... I don't want to pay for a translation of a game that I'm not going to really enjoy. So, having... Having people I know that play these games and like check them out and can vouch for their quality is always good. Because as much as I would love to just have every single game translated, I, I am finite on money. They're obscure. It doesn't matter if they're obscure. It, it, it matters if they're good. Look at this game. I wouldn't really call this game obscure, mind you, but like this game's quality is ridiculous considering its price is so low. What am I doing? Ah. Like Toavania too. Toavania is an absolutely phenomenal game. And that probably sold for like a thousand yen at a at a convention in 2009. And that's 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 all she wrote on that game. Remember the invisible gap. How could I forget? Choco banana. So I'm gonna go translate the Yukuri soccer game. You know what? What's that? Now you, you, you post Aya face, but now I'm, now I'm interested. Oh, chat, there was also that Phoenix Wright game, right? That Phoenix Wright-esque game that was done by the same people that did the animated uh, shots for uh, Toa Soccer, right? What's that called? I want to look into that because that seems like fun. And if it's not that long, it won't cost that much. I remember a clip. Yeah, Hot showed me a clip before where we're fucking... Patchy got up on the desk and started like headbutting it like a jackhammer. You could eat DX, at least call this a joke, it's not really that good. Well, hmm. Hold on, let me click that. Let me click that, I wanna see this. Shady trial. Oh my god. Perk just one? What do you mean one? It looks amazing! <laughs> Chat. Where's Hawk and I? It's three trials long. Where's Hawk and I? <laughs> yeah, it looks phenomenally stupid, and I really wanna, I wanna check it out. Oh wow! Stupid is an understatement, but it looks amazing, dude. <laughs> I, I recognize the Kaguya from her uh, her special save too. Yeah, it's the same uh, the same people who animated a chat did the the Toa soccer cut-ins. So we already seen the level of quality they're able to produce, both meme and uh, non-meme wise. So yeah, <laughs> I wanna I wanna check that out. gotta be something well the main the most important thing is a how long the game is because that will if it's too long if it's really long then I can't I can't ask Hakanai to do that because he's busy with his own projects right now but if it's not terribly long then yeah it would be a bad uh it would be a bad thing to do I guess it depends how much text is in there what he uh, what he would consider a big project or not Either way, I'm, I'm kind of interested in... Well, I got a bit scared. Because the dude was floating up towards me and I couldn't hit him. Nice. Can enemies break stun if they're hit by the bomb? I haven't seen it yet. Toa oh, Soccer was so good. It's wordy. Well, that's good. It's good that it's wordy, because that means content. The more words in a visual novel, the more content we get out of it. Good. 
giant chocolate banana. Wasn't actually worth that much. Safety bomb is always cheaper than a death bomb. Well, but, but I don't want to use bombs. I don't want to use bombs. All right, gap time, here we go. Keep the rabbit up there. Keep the rabbit up there. Shot. I don't see it. I changed friends. What? You have to hole in one the rabbit. Oh. Oh, I have to. It's in there? It's near the door? Oh. <laughs> That's so hard. I need to st I need to stun it. Okay, that's actually not that bad. I just need to stun it on the elevator and then push it through and it will do it. It'll do it. That's God damn. God damn on that one though. Don't hit me again. Okay, all right. My score multiplier is kind of low. It needs to be higher. It must... The blue potion has probably significantly increased it. That's probably what it is. I don't know what happened, but I won. Can't climb the tree. Can climb the tree. Why is it invisible? Uh, I don't know. Perhaps that will be changed in the future. Either way, I know where it is now, but yeah, it's a little... It's a little bit inconsistent with the rest of them. Oh, that ghost is gonna come back! Oh, good. At least we know where it is now, chat. I just need to actually, like, activate it to see. There we go. We can use the green rabbit or let the Yamawara jump from it. I hate letting those bastards jump. <laughs> they always hit me. Because there's a warning where they're gonna hit. Oh, okay. There's a warning where they're gonna hit, and then their sword extends their hitbox, and I get hit anyway. That's happened at least twice. That's a big honeypot. button. I hope that worked. What? Oh. I don't even know where that came from, man. Oh. Well, at least it's just hearts. And I have seven lives, right? Sucks. Don't hit me, please. No, I hate them. Damn it. Whatever works. 
Did we collect those 12 flash games? No, no one sent me anything after. I don't have, uh, like, any at all. Fix everything, make it definitive edition. Add Virgil. He deserves to be here. Walk into it. Walk into it. Yeah. Virgil Lumia. You can now play as Lumia. She's like Dante, but cooler. Now give me Misty back. Alright, one more. Get your shitty shield out of here. How did I even face that direction? Oh. Oh. Firing in the wrong direction feels really bad. Because I don't realize it's happening until I've already shot like 20 bullets. Alright, Romeo. Alright. Here we go. I hate this one. <laughs> you gotta go, Romeo. Got it. Oh, one more time! Finally. Ugh. Didn't know she had a kill shot. is all right anymore. Hey. 
It's just like it is in the games. Every goddamn time I can't do it. God, that one annoys me. Twenty-five percent. It's really hard to gauge that when I'm doing everything else. Every single time she changes, I get clipped by a bullet right before the end, and then I don't have enough time to wiggle my way out, and then I get hit. Still haven't captured that one. Alright. <clears throat> you can't really stand lower because by the end of the second uh, phase, she's basically on the bottom of the screen. That's why I stay directly centered. It's just there's no real warning when she does it. It just happens. So, you can try to prepare for it. it never quite works the way you want it to. Oh, that was my own fault. That's just unfortunate, though. <laughs> Any more of that run and it would have been upsetting. Any more of that, I would not have had a. I could have, I could have taken that further, but I probably wouldn't have enough time to do another one after that. And dying two times in that stage that way, it was, well, I don't really want to. I don't really want to continue past that point because I don't think I'll be, it has any chance of succeeding. Back to one one. This time, I want to try yellow potions. I want to see what yellow potions do. Get used to 1-1, one, one, Chad. It's my best friend. It's never wronged me before. Crushed. At least the music is great. Yeah, I'll give it that. <laughs> I can keep coming back here to the music, but if I die in World 1... Oh, video game over. No, 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 auto fire didn't stop working. Uh, uh, I don't think you were here when I explained it, uh, but I'll run through it again. So, the red potions reduce uh, reduce stun time. Blue potions increase score and rare items uh, spawn rates, and yellow potions increase something, and they also enable auto fire. So that's why you could I can only do it with a yellow potion. So I'm gonna collect three of those and see if my auto fire becomes like. Ridiculous. Well, that's not gonna work because of the rabbit's position. Oh well. I despise UFO stage one music just for that reason. Well, I despise UFO. So, it's okay. I like UFO's music a lot. Red Potion also increases heart spawn rate. That would make sense. That would make sense. But I want to see how the yellow one, like, works. So, we'll dedicate a run to this. This is gonna take a lot of time to actually get done on normal. I cannot even begin to imagine the higher difficulties are like. I wonder if moving with deep pad be better for this game. It seems like a uh, control stick, since every direction is used, sometimes I hit a button the wrong way on a uh, control stick, but I think it's a little late to practice with deep pad. that works. So what that was, was, as you saw, I was, I jumped and faced the right direction, and then I turned around, because, because control stick. <sighs> Maybe I should practice D-pad.
keep it in mind for next time. Oh. But yeah, I keep having uh, I keep having controller malfunctions, so to speak, because the control stick is a little bit a little bit picky and precise. All right, let's get the other yellow one. Two yellow. Stereo system. Life, Rumia's bow, more hearts. Good. Hit him. Hit him. Nice. This wall texture right in front of me looking crumbly like that. Ooh. It activates my, my secret brain. But then there's nothing there. This is what it feels like to be betrayed. Knock him out! Please! Bruh. <laughs> You're getting me with that one. Well. In the end it worked, but it didn't actually work at all. How cool. Harder than you'd think to get in this hole. Come on, there you go. There's probably a better way to handle that than the way I do it, but the way I do it is very risk-free, so... Is it really the wrong way to do it? That almost works. That almost works, but it, it goes just a little bit too high over it. Sometimes you just gotta spew. Chat. Chat, is that Yugen Magan? <laughs> Did, you... Did you turn Yugen Magan into a, an anime girl? 
Like, you see the eyeballs, right? I can't believe this. <laughs> and of course he's blonde. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen that character like that. Transcribed Yugi Magan to an anime girl before. Okay, but why? A silhouette between the eyes is a form of a girl. That is so confusing. <laughs> Alright, rainbow time. Hold button. Holding the button like this allows me to focus a on uh, dodging more than hitting the button. Also, if I press the dodge button while shooting, Rumi doesn't dash, he just becomes invulnerable. It's great. God damn it, that sucks. Well, I can easily make that bomb back up, but... Oh well. Oh uh, well. Say goodbye to Reimu. Thanks for costing me a bomb, you jerk. Amazing. Yeah, see, if I, uh, if I move and... This is... Look at this. So, the little blue outline makes it so I'm, I'm doing the dodge animation, but I'm not actually committed to a dash, but I can still, like... It stops me from shooting for a second, but I have full control over where I can move while I become invincible. Which is just phenomenal, really. <laughs> That's so much better than being forced to move a certain way because sometimes I dash and I'm, I have to readjust, but this way I can just kind of... Rumi, you can just decide to become invulnerable sometimes. Fantastic. Ah, oh, so you really- are you really posting a link of Yuga Magan and telling people to look for the girl between the eyes? <laughs> it's like an optical illusion. It ain't there! <laughs> if you look really closely, it's a cute girl. <laughs> oh my god. There's another blue present. It's totally there. I don't know. What causes the blue presents to spawn? Creeper! And a Famicom? <laughs> Not just any creeper, two creepers. Oh, a Yugi. That's my first Yugi. Being able to hold the button is doing a number on my hand right now. My arm gets so tired playing this game because I mash, but right now I could just hold the button and it does the work for me and my arm does not feel any pain. I don't know why it's really it's tied to a potion for its effect, but I'll take it because it's fantastic. I love it. Uh, I have a question, Dev. Are there some items that can only be found if you have blue potions? Or is every item potentially spawnable, but the likelihood just increases with, uh, blue potions? Because I spawned that- that diamond thing again that gave me 10,000 points, and its rarity was only four stars. And I'm pretty sure I've spawned six-star rarity items just on- by virtue of existing. 
I'm just wondering if there's like some kind of a value in there that decides it. And if some of them are set to a flat zero without a blue potion. Next stage is the gap. Uh, I do this one pretty straightforwardly. I just kind of hit the button and hope it works. Yeah, see, I just kind of hope that one works. <laughs> it seems to work fairly consistently, but you never know for sure. Gimme, gimme, gimme the thing, dude. Okay. Alright. Let's get the third one. Alright. Ooh. Speed time! Chad, is that the Android logo guy? Is that... Blue potion increases the spawn rate of rare items, but they can't appear without potions. Okay, so there's nothing in the game that requires a blue potion to find. Is this the Android dude, or is this something else? I think it is. It looks like it, just without the ears. There's the flag. The US of A. Ooh, auto fire. I'm firing so fast, I cannot actually keep up with the uh, the bullets that I'm firing. Look, Rumiya's arm goes, but she can't actually fire any bullets. Luis. Random Makai citizen. Are there any area state specific items as well as actually all randomized? That's another good question. It really is nice to hear this information right from the source though. Totally random, okay. Good to know. I kind of really like the, the yellow potion. Rumia's speed is... Rumia's speed is basically as fast as me mashing. But I don't have to really mash, so my arm doesn't have to take, uh, take a hit for it. Well, the thing is... The thing is, Jack, most, most of the Toho games I play are like 10 years old. So, <laughs> it's really hard to get any insight on how they work. This one's not that old. It's a few years old, but it really isn't that old. Like, I remember when I was looking for the... I was looking for the one-ups in Toavania. God, no one knows where those are. At all. It took me so long to find the one-up in stage two, because I did not think for a second that you would, like, want to even like, do that. You have to fly over the boss arena to find the, the one-up. It's like, why would you even think to do that? That's everything. I heard the door unlock, because I was standing on the key. She sticks the landing. Didn't even feel it. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, he needs to get out of there because I can't reach him. I needed to fall on that, but I needed to be careful. <laughs> Just take the bonus points from potions. One more. So 
something's not dead and I can't see it. The dolls are really hard to pick out sometimes. They're so small. You can't simultaneously attack and graze through bullets. I thought when I glow... Well, I'm not shooting. The thing is, it stops me from shooting when I do it, so I'm not actually shooting. So the moments that I'm not firing bullets, I'm assuming I'm invincible. That seemed to be what it was. It seemed to work with the uh, Raymu, but Raymu's not really a good uh, practice for that. You can only hold a max of three potions, yeah. Alright, we'll see if it works. I can't graze through these lasers. These fucking lasers are the death of me every single time, though. I have so much trouble with it compared to the other stuff she does. Ow! Ah! I am surprised I captured that. Why does Alice have a donkey kick? <laughs> She's got the Ryu F smash. Take her out before the killing wave comes out. Alice, I'll be there in a second. Donk! <sighs> I captured that one last time. The, the, uh, the, the laser one, I have no idea how I captured it though. Oh my god, I was, I was so certain I was dead. <laughs> that was a full Alice capture, I think. Let's try and get that gap this time. I did jump. God damn it. That should not be as difficult as I end up making it be every time. But I cannot seem to handle platforms. Alright, watch this. God damn it. That didn't work. That high jump is... Sometimes you just walk out of it and then it stops working. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to fall to the platform. Maybe I should wait.
Okay. So we're gonna press this button a few times. Hope that something dies for it. <clears throat> High jumping annoyance will be addressed in the future. Bless you, Dev. Bless you. The only issue I take with it is that sometimes you go to like do it and then you walk out of it and it's no longer a thing and then it kind of eats your jump. I don't really know how else to explain it, but it, it it just the way the way it works, it makes sense. But every now and again, I just completely fuck up my movement, and it's like really bad when I do it too. Cause it's like that. I tried to jump there, but I got I halted myself because I started charging high jump. So instead of jumping, the uh, control stick takes precedence, so my uh, jump button doesn't actually go in, and I don't jump. Well, better alive than dead. Better alive than dead. Anything on that super high one? Oh, that, yeah, okay, so, uh, last time I played this, I was in World 6, and I did a jump that got me from, like, the bottom of the screen, from the top of the screen, and I managed to get back to the bottom. Like, the jump, the jump covered, like, half the screen. Does anyone have a clip of it? Because I don't exactly have the the VOD to pull up for that, but I made this uh, I made this really high jump, and I don't know how I did it, and I couldn't replicate it, and I don't know if it was intended or if I broke something. I, I tend to I tend to break things. I wa I was watching that, and I have no idea what happened. Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. There you go, chat. Another game. Another game! Add that one to the list. Things that I play that just don't work correctly sometimes because I put my hand on the controller. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna... okay. Oh my god, I'm getting real scared about it. <laughs> oh, come on, dude! <laughs> Come on! No, 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 no! <sighs> The Yamawaros are scary, okay? <laughs> they, they, they're they intimidating. I didn't want to get jumped by them. If I can make a jump onto the platform though, it might work. I'll figure it out eventually. I got all the other ones down for the most part. Rabbit had my number. Take him out. Yes, destroy everything. Infinite popsicle. That was not a very good popsicle. Oh, hold on. Don't forget the cherries. one. Kind of a weenie point total. How big it is.
Do you think the points are entirely just based on Rumia's own preference? That would make the most sense, right? So Rumia eats something she doesn't really like, it's 100 points. I mean, how else do you apply a point value to things? <laughs> if not just Rumia's own personal tastes. Ghost Rumia. I remember that. The level, the previous, like, play of the level was, like, somehow still loaded in for whatever reason. Alright, good thing I moved out of the way. I would have grabbed the key by accident. You can stay down here. Stupid Mountain Kappa. Stupid meat. Yeah, get him! That was a really good shot. Is that PC-98, Alice? I can't tell. It didn't look like Mugetsu. I've seen her a few times. Or is it Gengetsu? No, it's Mugetsu. Or is it Gengetsu? Chat, which one's which? Gen Gengetsu is is uh, the fairy, right? And Mugetsu is the maid? I think. Mugetsu is fake maid. I mean fake. She's as real as you or me. I need to move. I should go. I should move. No, no good. I can't hit him. Okay, got him. The little ones don't kill me, so that's fine. There we go. Little mini boss never hurt. Here's something I noticed. So when I hold the, look at this, when I hold the shoot button, when I hold the shoot button and try to jump, I get super jump locked. But if I mash, I can just kind of jump normally and do it. So auto-aim, auto-aim when I need to hit things above me and put like, jumping shots might be a bit painful. Alright, I again. It's alright. I was very close to getting that.
Fuck off. Uh, Aya's arena is so annoying. I don't even remember what this is. Bowlers. That's a quick one. Aya's timeout is their last one. Be able to get this one this time? I don't know. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to move. It's hard to dodge. I should go. Well, fucked it up again. God damn it. Uh, man, I, I really dislike her first spell card. I hate chasing her around. I haven't been able to capture that one either. All right, here we are again. Let's uh, let's try really hard not to die twice. All right, let's try that. Ow, not a good start. Keep it coming. You get McGon again. Good enough. If I get wall meat on ten, I won't. Alright. Can't climb these walls. That worked out. I guess it just depends how Vermilia goes. But even then, there's still a whole extra worlds after that. Alright. There's always that one that gets stuck up here that ruins the whole thing. How did he get hit? <laughs> wow. I am impressed. Wow, one of them was really bouncing. Alright. The bosses do instant death attacks while Rumi is stunned either the last and last boss are examples. You mean with the ring thing? Everybody needs a everybody needs a break every now and again. Ow. Uh huh. I got the bomb back, but I didn't really need to lose it there in the first place. Ooh, close. Ooh, closer.
I don't remember being this intimidated by this level before. Really don't. <laughs> now I'm really scared to climb it. Maybe that'll work. Almost, but I'll not risk it. Okay. Four six. Damn bat! Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright, gap time. Where is it? Top of the screen. There it is. Got it. She's there, so I can't forget it. Okay. Rumia? There you go. Okay, now here's a question. What is that door? What is that door? How do we get in there? How do we get in that door, chat? Because last time I fell and I couldn't get it. Sliding down the wall. Hmm. High jump? Well, the thing is, there's a wall right here. Like, I can stand here, but then the wall blocks me. So it seems... Wait, can I do this? I have it. I have it. I got it. I figured it out. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, my e. Are there secrets though? No secrets. No. Interesting. You put a bonus. You put a bonus in the gap. <laughs> bonus in the bonus. All right, now let's make these rabbits fall into formation. Come along. Come on. There you go. Push! Nice. It makes you feel like a real gamer when you nail stuff like that. They want to hit me, so I don't feel bad about hitting them back. Put a gap in a gap. Only transform gaps can do that. Otherwise, it's an illegal technique. Oh, I almost got stabbed to the wall. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. The knight fell off. So find the find the wall meat chat. Find the wall meat. I 
can't hit her. Hmm. Uh, this is a problem. Hit the crack boss. Let me... Dungeons suck, I agree. I hate, like, all of them. Where is it? Oh, I found it! <laughs> nice! Oh, damn, it gets plus three hearts, too. Fantastic. This world is just full of secrets. Man, the bats look so goofy when they're stunned. Come on. What the hell? only for 10 points. Here in the moon dungeon, you can practice gimmicks that you'll never actually use in a mystery dungeon game. Here you go, beat the 50 floor dungeon in one hour. Now do it again, but this time all the enemies are invisible. Here, beat a dungeon that's a hundred and f uh, 129 floors long, and there's a monster house on every single floor, and you can't bring your own items in. Oh my god. I cannot wait for that. Something is not dead. Oh, I see it. Never mind. We're good. <clears throat> How's auto fire feeling? My arm loves it. That's what I've been doing the whole time. Achievement. Uh, <laughs> Remy didn't like that. I, I guess I broke everything, took everything, cleaned out her entire house. All right, here we go. You ate Remy's secret food. Oh shit. going to kill me.
I think the the trick there is to stay basically on her and then when they start circling around you then you gotta move I'm dead Back dodging's good, hard to remember it in the moment. Very hard to remember it. I've skipped when I shouldn't have because there was gonna be new stuff in there regarding uh, Mystia. That was my bad, I completely forgot. I forgot, don't worry. Well, we'll get a we'll get a recap of it anyway once we reach the boss. It just we just get a little hint as to what happened prior. I'll keep it for I'll, I'll remember that for next time because Misty attends the partner I go with anyway. That said, if if uh, Misty becomes a really pain in the ass boss fight, then I don't know. We. I saw Ghost Room here. Good enough. I haven't gotten into the, the gap in this world either. I know where it is, haven't gotten it yet though. That was an accident. Well, I guess it worked, but I walked forward and fell in a hole and I thought I was gonna land on the rabbit. Cherno, yeah, dev confirmed. Cherno is, Cherno's there until you beat the game at least once, then it's dependent on which partner you've had the most, spent the most time with, and that is definitely missed you here. Eventually, what a Misty is bullets is gonna hit him. I cannot get my score multiplier to five again. That will never happen again. Clean! And 
that's my bonus. Wow. Wow. Oh, hold on. There's a Yamame doll down there. Let me get that. And a cat. I don't know what the cat is, though. Octopus wiener. I'm going to die, let it be by my own hand, not high jumps. Alright, you see it, chat? Did anyone hit it? Now I have to figure out how to make this one enemy hit that thing. Um. Idea. It's gonna be hard to execute though. Nope. Damn it! I need to hit him and headbutt him instantly when he's like right here. Fuck. Didn't work. Well, that is, uh, that is not gonna happen. That's a hard one. If you get to the middle bottom platform, you get it to bounce off the sides. I'm really not sure, because everything that bounced everything bounced around and didn't hit it. It's not that far off from the ceiling, it's just hard to get it to work. I pressed the wrong button. The way I get the the next one's pretty pretty bootleg as well. God damn it! There we go. The leak is worth thirty nine. Nice. <laughs> That's bullshit. Uh, I hate getting hit by shit like that. I got enough lives I gotta lose to the boss. I don't need to lose them here. Hold on. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Most of the time making five plus combos opens hard to reach gas and fast enemies start to ignore gravity. That's what I thought. Maybe I was just unlucky. For fuck's sakes. Speaking of unlucky. Get up. At least World 7 isn't really even a world, so there's that. It and easy. Good. Thirteen. These red ghosts might be the worst. We just hang out in a wall and then teleport into you. You ain't stopping it. There's just no way to stop it. Cut that out. 
stop that. Reading chat while enemies are alive. I just I just made a mistake. I fell onto it. I fell onto the damn thing and it immediately uh I picked the worst time to do it because it immediately stopped being stunned. Where did this doll come from? Stuff is falling from the ceiling and I'm worried about it. That was close. What's up, Doc? This doesn't seem so bad. It's just things shooting at me. Good. The last time I get a friend. It's mostly just power. Alright. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's the worst one! Broke the guitar. And I had to cancel the show! Oh, what the fuck? I don't I don't even want to look at this, let alone dodge it. That's not a good indicator for the rest of this fight. Am I dead? I can't see! I don't know why I didn't expect this to be the gimmick here. Oh my god.
thing is, when I throw over her head, the ace. The ace. Perfect angle. Thanks, I hate it. Oh my god. Waiting for the kill me bullets. There they are. how to do that at all and I was just melting lives and getting stunned and I, I don't want to do that right now I've been here for three hours I'm gonna run out of time if I do that I just lost like four lives on that I don't want to do that right now I need uh I need to learn how to do backflips I guess even so that was that was insane I think I barely figured out the cooldowns but, uh, wow, yeah, I see why she's the worst of the three to fight. Holy shit. She throws so much stuff at you. It's less about, uh, standing in the right place and just going through it. But yeah, no, I don't really, I don't really want to do that right now. That was, that was beyond frustrating. After all that it, I did to get there, and then I just got fucking melted. Because I couldn't stand up long enough to shoot her. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get in there and hit her, for the most part. Because I have to dodge so much. But I'll worry about that next time. For now, progress was made. I need to need to learn how to dodge things better. Oh well. It is what it is. I knew it was a hard game. But uh, damn. God damn. Absolutely total. That was only stage 5 too. That was only stage 5. There were two more stages to do. I haven't even seen the final boss yet in normal mode. And I know that's going to be difficult. Because of how many times I died in easy. But, uh, yeah, no. Once there comes, a, there comes a certain point when you lose enough lives and you're just like, I don't really care how much further this one goes because I already feel like I've lost. And that's how I felt. I felt like I lost. Oh, well. I'll try again some other time.